Hi, I'm Alec Delancey and today I want to talk to you about a topic that is all over the internet. It is motivation. How to become motivated, how to stay motivated. A number of people, they have challenge or challenges with becoming motivated and staying motivated. And it can be in anything. Even sometimes in things that people find themselves um, enjoying, in one instance, they may recognize somewhere down the road they no longer feel motivated to continue on that particular thing or that task that they may have enjoyed doing um, and we're talking about enjoying doing something that is positive so people they have challenges in becoming and staying motivated and the question we have to ask ourselves it is why is that so uh, you may have noticed even in your life maybe you're a student or probably you work in a company or you're probably self-employed and if you're a student, you find it sometimes a difficult thing to start a project and to be consistent on the project. Even though you know passing and getting a good grade will go well and it will mean that you can move up to another level or you won't have to redo the course. But sometimes it's just difficult for you to, to stay motivated. And probably you work in a company or maybe you're self-employed and that too. You know exactly why you need to work. You need to get money to pay the bills and to be able to take care of yourself and your family and so forth. But it appears that sometimes it is a little difficult to remain motivated when we know what we need to do. But it's sometimes a little difficult um, to continue doing such a thing. Now, let's talk to those who are students. Maybe you're a student, you're in primary or secondary, or maybe you're in the university or college and you're studying something. It could be anything, you're studying mathematics or probably you're studying geography or possibly social studies or history, uh, in language, literature, whatever it may be, or music or dance. So you, you're studying and uh, you notice that there are some students who are able to study this particular craft or vocation or task or subject matter. They're able to study it for five hours. And you say to yourself, you know what? That's what I need to do. Especially when you note that some of the students who study for five hours are actually passing their exams. They're doing well. They're getting good grades. So you say to yourself, that's what I need to do. I need to study for five hours. And you do maybe the first day second day you probably make it past a couple of days a few days uh, but after the ending of the week it becomes a bit of a challenge maybe by week two you find it really difficult to continue actually keeping up studying so you you feel like okay i'm a failure i'm not able to do this what's going on i'm supposed to be motivated i was motivated when i started off doing it i know why i have to to do it so it's not an uh, uh, intelligence issue it's not a uh, 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 issue where you don't understand why you're supposed to be doing it you know why but why you're not doing it or being consistent in practicing or going over the material that is what is concerning to you so you probably start studying that more than you studying the subject at secondary school or or at the university so you eventually stop or possibly you are an employer, an employee, and you work for a company. So you're an employee, you work for a company, or maybe you're self-employed. And you're doing the work. You probably know someone else who is in your same trade, your same job, or something similar. And you say to yourself, okay, I notice that they come in early, or they start work early, and then they're able to get so much done for the balance of the day. I want to do that. So you, you start off doing that. You reach to work early or you start work early. Maybe you're working from home. So you start work early. And uh, it, it goes well the first day. Some minor hiccups here and there. The second day was even better. For a week, it seems to be working. Then week two comes. And what happens? Well, you just don't feel like you want to continue doing this anymore. It's painful, it's difficult, it's hard. And you're wondering, why did I even start this in the first place? I mean, what I was doing before was kind of working. So you start to reflect and sort of rationalize that, well, why did I even change in the first place? I could have just con 
continue doing what I was doing and that would have been fine. But something in the back of your mind saying, no, it will not have been fine. And that's why you started off with trying to come in early or starting work early in the first place. So in the two instances, the perspective, my opinion, I will share, is that it appears in those two areas, the student and the employee, that they simply busy themselves doing something to fill the time. So it was not really focus work. It was simply just do something and let time pass. But when you do something and time pass, initially you want to change. So you get that rush of dopamine and you, so you feel all motivated. You feel happy about what you're doing. So serotonin is working in the brain and other neurotransmitters. You're working in the body, you feel that adrenaline rush and so forth. And you really get work done. But you simply did something based on a thought that you had, I need to improve. So you did something and it seems to be working. But like any good thing, it doesn't really last. So it eventually fades away. You no longer get the dopamine rush and the serotonin rush and the adrenaline rush that you once got maybe a few days ago or a week ago. And you simply stop. You just don't feel it anymore. So in busying ourselves with various activities or various uh, work, uh, we simply load ourselves down and we erroneously, falsely think that we are actually doing something. And we probably are. We got some stuff done. But it wasn't really focused. So day after day, there was nothing that we could have built on in terms of a process. And over time, if there's no process, there's no check sheet, there's no schedule, we simply do work, then it will not be consistent. Because every day you won't feel the same, you'll feel different, you'll feel a little tired some days, you'll feel a little upset, somebody came, something happened, um, your schedule got thrown through the window. And when that happens, you kind of lose your footing because there's no process that you can get back to. You simply were doing things. So this is what I will suggest. In order to remain or to get motivated and then remain motivated, it really has to do with creating schedules, plans, activities that you can check off on a checklist. Those are the things that will actually help you. Once there's a process that you can repeatedly follow over and over. Now, there are some days you will not feel to follow that process. You will not feel to do that step by step by step. But the thing is, once you create a goal or you think about a goal and you create some steps or some processes to get to that goal, then you simply work or climb or move from level to level step to step and that's how when you achieve the goal you start feeling a sense of okay victory i could i feel pride i'm able to complete something i'm able to do something remarkable and you can use that same system you set another goal the same system of knowing that you have to create steps or you have to create a sort of ladder so that you can get from one activity to the next one activity building on another one one activity building on another one and then you achieve your goal you be realistic you at times may need to reevaluate. you have to do over the schedule you have to do over the plan maybe not everything in it but there are some things you may have to change because originally you really didn't think about uh, everything that you had to think about in order to create an effective schedule or effective plan or effective check sheet so sometimes evaluation is necessary and that's okay because the objective is to get to the goal that you have created for yourself. So that is what I think on why some persons no longer feel motivated. Um, it could very well be that they simply do not have a process in place to move from one step to another. And if they have a goal, Hopefully, it's a clearly defined goal. Now, if it's not, that's another issue altogether. But if it's a clearly defined goal, but there's no processes 
to get to that particular goal, then motivation will simply not happen. And uh, when motivation no longer happens, then you will feel like, I didn't achieve anything. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to scrap this. Right? So think about it. Create check sheets. Create schedules. And work on that check sheet or those schedules in order to achieve your goal. When you achieve your goal, motivation will come. You will feel that sense of accomplishment. But what you may have felt up front was not necessarily motivation. It was simply, I'm feeling good because this is what I want to accomplish. Maybe that's it. It could also be you did feel motivated to start and that's why you did. Um, but use that process, that check sheet, that step-by-step -step roadmap. And at the end of it, you will see that you have accomplished and that will motivate you to continue or to even do greater or more things. So that's my thoughts on motivation and how to sustain it. And see you next time. Take care.